is the hardest material known to man called enamel. Okay? Really hard. And once your tooth is formed, you make no new enamel. So if you chip your enamel, if it gets eaten away by bacteria, you cannot grow new enamel. And below the enamel is the major portion of the tooth, which is called dentin. Now, the dentin has in it a nerve supply. So, I will show you. If you're starting to get a cavity, you may have a dentist and well, I see the beginning of a little cavity. And he'll probably leave it alone. You're not going to feel it because it's in the enamel. And they've exaggerated, by the way, on this picture, exaggerated the thickness of the enamel. All right? But once, and you'll say, well, we'll watch it, you'll brush your teeth. But once this cavity, which is full of bacteria, reaches the dentin, you're going to know you have a toothache. Okay? And then what he has to do, what she has to do, is drill out all of this. Okay? You go beyond the cavity. You know that sound. Everybody hates it, right? Just laugh at it. And fill it with an amalgam, which is, what is an amalgam? It's your filling, which is made of mercury and silver, okay? You can, you can fill it with gold. That, I wouldn't do that today. People will punch you in the mouth and steal your gold. It's not so expensive. <laughs> but if it's $32 an ounce, you can fill a cavity with gold today and no way. <laughs> so you fill it with amalgam. That's a lot of people... You can also fill it, by the way, it's not as good in a chips, but it looks more natural. You can fill it with um, ceramic, okay? but it's not as strong. Okay? Now, some people said, well, I don't know. I got a mouth full of cavities, they said, and it has all this mercury, and I don't want to die of mercury poisoning. The mercury is chemically bound to the silver. You with me? It's a silver mercury compound. You are not going to leach mercury. Where people end up getting exposure to mercury is that they would go to the dentist and say, I don't want all this mercury in my mouth. This little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Drill it out. And then as they drill it all out and replace it with ceramic, then you're going to get exposed to mercury. So, you know, you just leave it if you're going to be okay. You know, and it's strong. Now, once you get through the dentin, you're going to come to the work, working part of the tube, which is the pulp cavity. And this has lots of blood vessels, limbs, nerves, has everything in here. And it depends on the tooth. This tooth happens to have two roots. Some teeth only have one root, which are two and three. And all of these nerves and blood vessels enter through the bottom of the tooth called the apical foramen. Okay? And here's your problem. If you get an infection that now spreads into the pulp cavity and down the root, you're in for something expensive. You need a root canal. There's, there's several ways they can approach it, but it depends upon the, how extensive. They usually, what we'll do is they'll cut off the top of your tooth. Ah. Throw it away, and uh, they will come in and clean out here, and then they'll drill a hole here, a hole here for this tube, and they'll clean out root, now fill this with amalgam, fill it with amalgam, fill it with amalgam, now whatever is left, get rid of it, and then they're going to fit you with an artificial tooth. Now you got two bills. The artificial tooth is called the crown. 
you got to pay for the root canal, and then you got to pay for the crown. That's expensive. If you lose a tooth, what they can do is an implant. That works very nicely, provided you have a strong jawbone. And what they will do is drill a hole and actually screw in a little post, a little metal post that will be sticking out about this much. And you'll feel it. Okay, get used to it. And they give you about nine months to a year, and they want your bone to grow into the post, with it, from the mandible, mandible or maxilla. They want it to grow in, make sure the post is tight. And then the last part takes a minute. They have an artificial tooth, and they just screw it onto the top of the post. The only thing that you may not feel, some do. I was sitting in the other class, she says she feels it when she presses down. You know how you can feel the pressure? A lot of people say, well, they press down and they don't feel anything. Well, they may not, others do. Uh, what's your cost for one of these? $5,000. How much? $10,000. No, 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 no. Not going there. About $3,000, $3,500. But, you know, I just talked to someone the other day. They said, oh, I have five of them. Where the hell did you get the money? You know? 